What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to how to enable or disable the eMagic PHP model into our WordPress website. So before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many more topics in order to use internet on your site's favor. And now before we can continue, I must explain more about the eMagic mode that is a PHP model onto the, all the WordPress installations. There is two possibilities right here, okay? We are talking about site load speed and image quality, okay? So in one hand we have site load speed and on the other hand we have image quality. If you are, for example, a photographer that needs to have all of the quality, all of the pixels, all of the original raw image into your site, you most disable this image, image PHP model, okay? But if you are focusing on SEO, performance, optimizations, content, for example, like a blog, you most enable this because this is a model that's gonna treat images on your site. Every single image that you upload on your site creates a thumbnail, a medium image, a large image, a full-size image, some versions of the images, and every single version can or cannot be optimized by this PHP model that WordPress introduced and uses by default. However, there is a lot of scenarios. For example, if you are focusing on speed, we most enable this. This is good. This is gonna help you because it's gonna automatically quite like update or improve the image for a better performance. But if you are focusing in image quality, you most disable this. But how to do this in WordPress? There is no a switcher, there is no option, there is no button. We most follow this guide. So let's get this started. First of all, move to our WordPress dashboard. Once on dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. Into the upper right corner next to the keyword field, into the field called search plugins, we're gonna type eMagic, okay? Just like this. And this is the plugin that you are looking for, Image Magic Engine. Click on Install Now. Click on Activate button. This is gonna redirect us to the plugins list, a list that you can see all of the present plugins on our WordPress website. No need to worry. Here is the plugin. We can access the settings from here or deactivate. Or you can hover your mouse once again into the left sidebar of menus on your WordPress website. Scroll it down until you can see the settings button. Hover your mouse over it and click on Image Magic Engine. And here is what we're gonna see. Image Engine, it's not enabled. So we must enable this in order to start using, okay? So click right here. After this, we're just gonna save the changes, okay? Just to enable the, this model to make the warning that is appearing right here disappear. Now, the image engine, we have these two options. I recommend that you keep the first one, okay? Because this is present into all of the PHP installations, the modern installations. Now, we have the things happening right here. Let me just apply some zoom. We have the optimize for, and right here we can choose. We have none, that is the WordPress uh, ID, okay? What WordPress decides, okay? So WordPress is gonna decide for you besides quality or performance, okay? So, or you can choose on your end. For example, imagine that you want to optimize the size into the thumbnail image, okay? But into the large images, for example, we want to optimize the quality, okay? So the image gonna be a bigger file, gonna take longer to load, but gonna have a better quality. And if, you, if I change this for size, this gonna change. So this is the part that you most think about for your needs, for your site needs, okay? And you're gonna be able to optimize the images for every single part of your site. WooCommerce, related posts according to the theme or plugins that you are using, and other sizes, okay? After change made, make sure that you click on save change, clear site cache if you have one, 
And let's take a moment to review this right sidebar of options. Right here, we have the option regenerate images. Okay, so we can regenerate the images from thumbnail, medium, medium, large, large, and other options. I can regenerate the images in the case that you want to regenerate the images into those sizes applying this model because this is gonna work into the already uploaded images on your gallery okay so make sure that you do a site backup before proceeding this because you may not like the results you got so make sure this is important this is gonna help you a lot but a backup is always welcome so it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the borderless WordPress plugin in order to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg Editor. Moreover, in the case that you are in need of the best free WordPress theme, go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo WordPress theme, click on install and activate it. It's completely yours and completely free and gonna give you amazing pre built up size that you can import with a single click, awesome menu customization options, awesome customizer options that you can edit every single part of your theme, like upload logos, types, and many more features, and it is. And in the case that you are in need of your site up and running faster, with our full support, premium icon packs, premium widgets, premium blocks, premium templates, unlock access to our template library, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass that includes Enzo Pro and Borderless Pro and go premium. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!